Good morning. Um, since yesterday, I haven't been feeling the best because of how my skin was when I woke up yesterday. Um, I have weepy skin on my face and on my arms and I was just feeling really down. But, um, and I posted that on my story on Instagram and this girl, she messaged me and like we've been talking for a couple of weeks now and she was, she started no moisture treatment um, at, like around the same time as me. So we were at the same place like two weeks ago and she said, oh, like, oh, how come you still have weepy skin? Like her skin was getting better, like the flakes were getting smaller and she sent me a photo of her and I, and she was getting much better. And I asked what she was doing and she said that she is limiting her water intake which I haven't been doing. And I think that plays a big part on the no moisture treatment. Um, so, and I've been drinking maybe like 1.5 or two liters a day. Like I haven't been restricting it at all. So I decided to limit it to one liter a day, which is so hard. I tried yesterday for the first time, but just the thought of not being able to drink more than that makes me thirsty and yeah but I stuck to it and I just um, drank that one liter yesterday so that's what I'm gonna do today as well and see how I go because my skin's been really weepy and it just feels disgusting and last night my arms were really really I know this morning I woke up with really weepy arms and I never do like since starting with no much treatment um they've always been pretty dry and it just I just want them to dry up and because it feels so yuck um I put pseudocrem on it um and put a gauze on top so yeah and my eyes are doing that thing again and my partner's parents are coming in two days. <laughs> I was hoping that my skin would calm a little bit, but it's doing the opposite. It is what it is. I'm just gonna get through this. I'm journaling right now because I've been slacking on that. And I think that mindset is really the key to healing so that's what i'm doing good morning you know how i told you guys about how i bought the nail gel kit online so that came yesterday that's to cure the nails the gels got some nail filer got some in different um like roughness I've got the top coats, base coats, and some colors. And I got these um, cuticle remover and cuticle pusher. And the brushes. So I got, they, they came in a pack of three. The middle one is the thin one for like designs, for like lines and stuff. And these two or to put the gels on. So I'm gonna do my nails today, which I'm so, so excited about. Okay, so I accidentally filmed this vertically, so I had to crop it and that's why it's so zoomed up, but I decided to do a French nail and it turned out so cute. I forgot to show it to you on camera, so I'll show it tomorrow. So as I mentioned before, my boyfriend's parents came over. They actually came over from Japan. And oh my god, I was so, so nervous to see them. I've met them before, but just not um, while going through DSW. I'm just going to shut up with this bit because it sounds so good. Anyways, they were so nice about it and we ended up having so much fun. If you're wondering what we're making here, we're making something called takoyaki which is a japanese dish and it's essentially 
like bowls with octopus in it um but i'm allergic to octopus so we're using squid oh my god you guys my eyebrows are coming back i just realized i was um i woke up and um i came to the bathroom i looked in the mirror and um, i was like my eyebrows seem a bit darker today i am so happy finally so so grateful for my eyebrows <laughs> also i got my nails done yesterday i'm really impressed with how i did them they were pretty easy to do i thought i was going to struggle but not really but, so yeah that was a great update so this morning we woke up extra early and decided to go see the sunrise how romantic of us we decided to take some cute videos. I'll put that up next and put a nice music in the background. But I sucked at running up to him and jumping, so you can see that as well. That night, my boyfriend's parents came over again and we had dinner together. Hi guys, so I just noticed a little pimple. I don't know if you can see, but I noticed this little pimple right above my eyebrow. And that's a good sign because acne is formed with the oils in your pores. So that means the oil, natural oil is coming back. Okay, my favorite time of the month is back. My boyfriend is washing my hair again. Off topic, but have you guys noticed how good my voiceover sounds now? I bought a microphone. Hi guys, I'm editing YouTube at the moment. I'm still doing editing the one month update. It's taking me quite some time because it's my first time editing youtube i know i just got my nails done but i decided that i wanted to give myself design nails so here's me working on the designs it took me literally hours to get them done and the thing is the designs didn't take much time it was the nail prep and putting extensions on that took most of the time so this is how it looks final look i'm really proud of myself but it did take so long hopefully i'll get used to doing them so that it won't take as long as it did today but they're looking really cute i really like these two designs good morning everyone so it's been about a month and two weeks since starting my moisture treatment and I just wanted to update you guys on my and how my skin is going so overall my skin is doing good um, it's less flaky I do have bits where it's still weepy some days like over here right now but Overall, it's okay, it's like slowly getting better, I feel like, and, and my eyebrows are coming back, which is great, and um, underneath my nose is getting less scabbier each cycle, so after it falls off, it comes, the scab comes back again, but it's a smaller flake and it's more flexible. So from last night, I noticed a little crack on the side of my mouth and it kind of hurts when I move my mouth. 
but that's how my neck's looking. This area here, this like here, gets really itchy during the night. So it does get a bit weepy here. Like that. It's Sunday today and my boyfriend and his brother went away for the weekend with their parents because their parents are here in Australia from overseas for a visit so they went away yesterday so I had the weekend to myself they're coming home tonight so I'm really keen to have company but yeah it's Mother's Day today so um, my mum and my sister's coming over for dinner we're gonna have a little girls night it's gonna be fun so yeah I might film a little bit then as well so we gave mom a customised photo book of pictures of when we were little and of course some of our recent photos and it's so special because most of our childhood photos got burnt down in a house fire a couple of years ago at my grandparents house and luckily I had them on my phone and you can see how happy she is and it makes me so happy. Anyways this is the end of part 4, thanks for watching and I'll see you in part 5. Hello. <laughs>